fellow Bahamians, on Friday, June the 1st, 2018, while we celebrated another Labor Day, we witnessed before our eyes tragedy of unimaginable proportions, where four of our sisters, Tabitha Hay, Tammy Gibson, Diane Ferguson, and Kathleen Fernando lost their lives and 24 other individuals who paraded with us were seriously injured. At this time, as we dedicate this whole week of celebrations in their memories, we pause to think, reflect, and silently pray for the souls and the memories of our dearly departed sisters. I would now wish to invite all to please acknowledge a moment of silence. Thank you. On this Labor Day celebrations, or in this case, Sir Randall Fox Labor Day celebrations, we pause to appreciate the significance of our patrons. We most constantly remind our people, especially our children, of the sacrifices that bold and innovative leaders like our patron, Sir Randall Fox, sparked when on the 1st of June, 1942, he led the Burma Road March, which created the birth of the modern trade union movement in the Bahamas. And thus, we in the labor movement have forever aligned the first Friday in June, Labor Day in the Bahamas, with the struggle of the improvement of the labor industry, while agitating for the rights and equality of Bahamian workers and all who work in our beloved country. As Minister of Labor, I am so pleased on behalf of the government and the people of the Bahamas to join in with the labor movement this week of celebrations that have been organized by the National Congress of Trade Unions, the NCTUB, and the Commonwealth of the Bahamas Trade Union Congress under the theme, One for All, All for One, securing the protection of the Bahamian workers for future generations. This past week, both sets of umbrella trade union organizations have joined forces together to pay tribute to our four fallen sisters that died in the Labor Day tragedy last year. While making their personal contribution to the labor movement, as well as the growth and development of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, I therefore extended heartfelt congratulations to President Obi Ferguson of the Bahamas Trade Union Congress and President Bernard Evans, and the executive of the National Congress of Trade Unions Bahamas on the occasion of the joint Labor Day activities as we celebrate another Sir Randall Fox Labor Day. Fellow trade unionists, ladies and gentlemen, over the last 12 months, the staff of my ministry have worked aggressively to address the various challenges that confront workers and their trade unions, as well as the needs of those workers that are not associated with organized trade unions. We have made significant progress in reducing the high level of unemployment to improving services at the Ministry and the Department of Labor to ensure that desires of both workers and employers are responded to in a timely and professional manner. It is our desire to see that the public is served efficiently and effectively, and that the time and ease of doing business with my ministry is reduced. I can report to the nation tonight that while we may have had a very active and public industrial relations environment during the past 12 months, the country is stable, and partnership with the unions remain active and strong. 
It is in my view that this strong partnership will continue to have a direct impact on the high percentage of settlements of disputes in the workplace which are amicably resolved while contributing to the resurgence of our economy. It is my government's intention to continue to address some of the critical issues facing the private sector. We are open to suggestions and recommendations in addressing these urgent issues in a proactive and innovative way. As the private sector is a significant contributor to the engine of our economy, my government stands in partnership with the business community in providing the requisite tools and programs which will enable the respective businesses to grow and flourish. My fellow Bahamians, the Ministry of Labor has over the past year further developed and expanded a number of programs and initiatives outlined in the labor component set out in my government's manifesto. The expansion of the Labor on the Blocks initiatives which have resulted in tens of thousands of registered job seekers in the Department of Labor's database and job opportunities for hundreds of job seekers. The progressive work and recommendation of the National Productivity Legislation, which is strongly recommending that the Tribunal Court be transferred to the civil arm of the Supreme Court, which will allow them, the Tribunal Court, to enforce their own rulings. Upgrade of the PC recruiter system in the Department of Labor, which is operated in conjunction with the Citizen Security and Justice Program. The expansion of the Inter-American Development Bank sponsored program for skills and current and future job seekers. And the new understudy program. The expansion of the labor on the blocks and the merging of this initiative with the Office of the Prime Minister Over the Hill Project. My fellow Bahamians, as we in the Ministry of Labor look towards 2020 and beyond, I wish to assure all stakeholders of my government's commitment to maintaining the cordial working relationship with our social partners and pledge that we, over the next 12 months, will continue to focus and further the implementation of our goals, which are to ensure that all heads of agreement recognize workers' rights, facilitate dialogue to promote and implement workers' education programs, further amendments to Section 20 of the Industrial Relations Act to facilitate the International Labor Organization recommendation on trade union independence. As we prepare to commemorate another Labor Day on Friday the 7th of June, I wish to extend congratulations to both the NCTUB and the CBTUC for joining forces on holding one Labor Day parade and rally, which leaves historic Windsor Park at 8 a.m. and ends at our Waikiki. I also wish to invite all and encourage all workers, those that are unionized and not unionized in New Providence, to join us as we march through the streets of the capital. I am convinced that as we join together in the spirit of love and unity, we demonstrate to the world that we in the Bahamas are proud of our history. The Labor Day March tomorrow will demonstrate that we as Bahamians are proud to hold up our people as national heroes, as we again honor the legacy of Sir Randall Fox for his outstanding work and legacy that he has left for workers of this country and all Bahamians. On behalf of the government of the Bahamas, I again congratulate the NCTUB and the CBTUC for the excellent work that they do to protect workers' rights, and I pray that you and your family
have a wonderful Labor Day.